Austin Rivers made some comments this week. He said, I can take 30 players right now in the NBA and throw them in the NFL. You cannot take 30 NFL players and put them in the NBA. Now, we talk all the time about how athletic basketball players are. Yes. We talk all the time. So is he right in this comment, or is he maybe just uh, a little misguided? No, I, I think he's a little misguided. I see what you were trying to do. I see what you were trying to do, but being... I do think the most athletic big people in the world play in the NBA. That I, I do believe that. But football is not just about athleticism, mm -hmm. right? Football is the most physical game, mainstream game, that we have. It takes way more than athletic. You can be soft and play in the NBA. I mean, hell, watch the regular season. They had to invent the flop rule because y'all's ass was out here pretending to get hit. <laughs> There's no flop rule. In football, I don't think athletically you could put guys out there. I want to see them go through training camp. I don't think they'd survive it. Not saying that none of them could. I think whenever you put anybody in, you know, generalize everybody in one way, you're wrong in doing that. But there's some highlights of some guys in the NFL that could play in the NBA right now. We pulled some from T. Higgins, actually. Yeah, let's we have the T. Higgins one. Let's just let's just watch T. Higgins here. Look like the greatest basketball player of all time. Can we pull that clip up? Let's watch T. Higgins. All right, wide receiver for the Bengals. That's that's probably not going to be at the Bengals for much longer. Let, let's let's watch this. Just watch this. Play it. Foul situation. They have yeah, two yeah. Three Austin goes. Rivers. Yeah. Let me tell you a story about the time you were wrong, buddy. You couldn't make it through three days of training camp. And now this is how the Give me that. <laughs> yeah, your dad can't come save you on that. One. Yeah, Doc can't come save you on this it's, one, buddy. It's literally the complete and total opposite of what Austin Rivers. Is. Uh, complete and total opposite. And this is just T. Higgins. Wait, yeah. Yeah. Like this is just some random. Wait. So you think it's the exact opposite? You think thirty? Football players could go play in the NBA, but yes. not the other way around. Yes. I think I do I, I, one from a body type perspective. A lot of NBA guys can't translate to the NFL. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of NFL guys could translate to the NBA. Yeah. And from a coaching and playing standpoint, the amount of football players that I've seen walk into a gym on a Saturday or a Sunday and absolutely run, run the basketball players. The last Juco I coached, there was two guys who were twins. That, that could play in the NBA right now. Yeah. Uh, I, you will rarely, rarely be able to walk into a basketball gym and point at a guy on, on a basketball team and say, hey, go start in football. Mm -hmm. it, it's the complete and polar opposite. And, and to be honest with you, even watching basketball games, like the guys you think are tough, I don't know. Like Anthony Edwards talking trash to Kevin Durant or crossing somebody from pointing at them and the, that still doesn't tell me if you can play football. What would he play? Would Safety. He, Safety or like, receiver. And that's another thing, too, is like the positions are a little bit more limited, right? They, I mean, they, we're they are about more wide limited. receiver, safety, maybe corner. Maybe you could put one of these guys at corner and have great hits I'm and sure, stuff. again. But even running back, like the body type is completely different. Yeah, and I'm sure. Again, there's guys that can do both. That Guys that can tight end. in the NBA. Tight, tight, end. End. tight end would probably be Antonio the Antonio Gates yeah. like, what is, is a great example. Like it, it's at the end of the day. It's not one, It's not totally one side, and then there's nobody on the other side. But if I had to gun to my head, say, do I think there's more NFL players that can play in the NBA or more NBA players that can play in the N NFL? Buddy, I'm saying there's more NFL players that can play in the NBA. I can 30? promise you. 30 the NBA day, players? Well, if you would have said three to five, Okay. Anything under 10, I okay. think, is okay. Okay, yeah. I, I can ride with that. I 30? Can, but 30? Bring up J.J. Watt's tweet. Do we have that? J.J. Watt, I think, won the day on, on here. He said, uh, you don't got a job in either sport, so go ahead and try it. <laughs> Look, I love it. I love it. Now, I hate That's, what J.J. Watt did with his hair right there. It looks like Lance Bass. But uh, <laughs> no, and look, Austin Rivers, I, I just, I don't think he was trying to be disrespectful. I just think he's wrong. He just did it. I just, yeah, I just think he's wrong. Like, I, that's, that's. This is a great segue while we're on this topic to Takeo Spikes, what he said yes. about Brian Dawkins. Yes. Right? This. Do we have this clip? Yeah, but before we bring what's going on here, I want, you want to talk about why I love the, the game of football? You talk about what we were talking about with LSU and why they call Brian Dawkins Weapon, Weapon X. X. The mental gymnastics that you have to do to be able to prepare yourself 
to play an NFL football game or a college football game, football game or a football game in general. This is Takiyo Spikes talking about Brian Dawkins. And this is, you know how big and strong Takiyo Spikes is? I just want you guys to, to listen to this if you're on audio. You don't even have to watch it. But if you're watching it, it's, it's fun for your eyes to look at as well. Let's play this before we bring Matt on. He was like, Spikes, I'm going to take his soul. Oh. And I was like, what? <laughs> I'm going to take his soul. I want to see how bad he wants to play. Next play, they Bye, run the bro. crowd behind me. Brian Dawkins. Boom. Oh. I said, oh, my goodness. <laughs> like People are like, Brian Dawkins speaks tongues to the yeah, football. Yeah, he's, he's speaking in, in <laughs> tongues. There's one time he's walking through the tunnel. That clip keeps going, and the camera's falling. All he's saying is, my time is coming. My time is coming. Ugh. Like, he's speaking I mean, tongues no, listen, yeah. listen. to a football. Listen. So whatever NBA players want to go out there and deal with that, yeah, have this, at it. Yeah. This ain't a calf strain. There ain't no flop <laughs> rule. Out there. Just, there is no feeling. And y'all out there that have been involved in it, y'all know exactly what I'm saying. We got a big football audience. There is no feeling like that feeling when you're in that tunnel or you're in that locker room or you're that coach giving that, that pregame scene. People hear Kirby Smart and they're like, I can't believe he's talking like that. I can't believe he's talking like that and saying that. But if you're in that room, that vibe, it just, it's primal, man. It's, you can understand how people used to do the things that they used to do when you have that type of, of energy, there's just there's, you. You, you want to call it toxic ma toxic masculinity? Call it toxic masculinity. Need it because we will beat your ass, need buddy. It. There is no feeling like that. There's nothing scarier than someone who is huge, fast, pissed, and playing for the Lord. It's, yeah, it's oh, talking in tongues. God, help me, please. But, subscribe, YouTube. Subscribe.